We're going to take you live out to the rush hour on Mopac right now. You can uh, take this highway out of downtown towards Cedar Park and Round Rock. You probably used to seeing signs every day warning you about construction. At 45th Street, the far right lane has been closed since November, slowing you down even more. But there is some good news tonight, at least from downtown to Palmer Lane. Relief is coming. As KXAN's Eugene Cho reports from the inside of the 45th Street construction zone, the work is expected to wrap up in about two months. We have very few lane closures right now, and as the month of January goes on, you'll see fewer and fewer lane closures. Then by late March or April, the inconvenience of construction should be wrapping up very shortly. The work you see happening here near the 45th Street exit is one of the last major projects that's impacting traffic. What they're doing here is building a sound wall. As you can see, the existing wall ends right here. So the crews are out here building a concrete wall that's going to go from 45th Street to in front of Westminster Retirement Community. They're also working to finish a sound wall near 2222, as well as a bike path near 183. Seeing Mopac finally be done from downtown to Palmer Lane. It's been a long time coming. It took almost five years. For Dwayne Nauman, who lives really close to Mopac. Basically 100 feet. When the highway first opened. For you and I to have a normal conversation right now, you and I would be yelling at each other over the noise, especially during rush hour. Nauman and his neighbors did get the Central Texas Regional Mobility Authority to put up a wall for them. We would have big trucks in our front yard. Uh, we would have equipment in our front yard and people in our front yard uh, almost 24 hours a day, seven days a week for a long time. But the wall is up now. The noise reduced significantly. And as someone who also drives a Mopac every day. It's always a good feeling to know that it's finally done. Eugene Cho, KXAN News. The CTRMA told us that on March 22nd, that's the date that's on the contract, but it's always uh, taking some time to put in the final finishing touches and to make sure the job has been done correctly. The process can take a few weeks, so that's why they're saying late March or early April. Work will continue, however, on Mopac near Slaughter Lane in South Austin. TxDOT is making improvements to that intersection. And the CTRMA website says it is doing an environmental study as it tries to find ways to increase mobility between Slaughter Lane and Cesar Chavez.